This is the Fox 13 10 o'clock news. You know, we've all been there. You open your car door, you run smack into a wall of heat. Our unblinking sun doing a number on us in our parking lots. But tonight, you're going to meet a local inventor who's dreamed up a pretty cool new idea. Our own consumer reporter, Chris Kimura, gives it a sneak peek. Plus, a comparison that truly made him sweat. It's so hot. Burning under the blistering sun, parked cars become four-wheeled ovens. Radiation is everywhere. Lakeland inventor Booker T. Washington Jr. hopes to dial down the heat with this, a remote-controlled, battery-powered car cooler. We build it, we test it, and it works. Booker says this prototype, which he insists is not a mini air conditioner, can drive down the temperature in parked cars for two straight hours without running the car engine. Exactly how he does it? is a secret. You can get a uh, differential about 20 degrees in this thing. A 20 degree drop is enticing on these nuclear afternoons. We wonder how today's parking lot heat busters compare. We team up with a place that has a steamy parking lot with lots of cars. Stingray Chevrolet. We still have, you know, four to five hundred in stock. After lining up four light colored Chevy Cruises, we install some thermometers. We'll put it right in the middle, out of the sun, so it's reading the air temperature. One car sits unprotected. Another sports a half cover called the California Pop Top. Its manufacturer gave us one to test. Right over the mirror. The third blocks the rays with an ordinary sunshade. Everybody's got one of these, right? And for the fourth, we give the trapped heat a narrow escape route. Crack the windows down just a little bit. Now we let the Sunshine State live up to its name. The cars broil for two full hours. Next, 122. We convince Plant City firefighters to assist. It's about 101 standing out here on this pavement right now. They've got a very cool heat sensor. It's a thermal imaging camera. Chief Smith confirms the fully exposed cruise has sizzled up to 122 degrees. I'm hitting 118 to 122. It's bouncing back and forth. So did the other contenders cook less? The car with the cracked windows is cooler, but barely. It's down just two degrees to 120. The thermometer under our window shade also reads 120. Another disappointment. The cover wins. Beneath it, the air is down to 108. Relatively speaking, it's chilly. A full 14 degrees cooler than the topless cruise. That doesn't surprise us. It doesn't surprise Jana Antonelli either. I can tell a huge difference. She always covers her eclectic cow print car. I do not work for Chick-fil-A. With the $70 cover that's made in the West's sunniest state. It's a must on those volcanic days in the workplace parking lot. All I know is when I get in it with the top on, it's comfortable. But Booker says his invention can and will do better when it goes on sale next year. We want to go in every car. The homegrown Vero Air will sell for $249. We're eager to test it down the road, spending more quality time roasting in a parking lot. It's a little warm. Chris Kamora, Fox 13 News. Now, Booker cooked up several variations of the Vero Air, including one that heats the air and another that purifies the air. He says he's talking with Walmart, Target, Best Buy, and AutoZone. We're going to look for that. Thank you, Mark. How's this for a workday lunch routine? You take your meal.